Do you want a brother or nope. a sister? Oh. She said neither! No! Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to today's vlog. Am I quarantining in the office right now because people have already arrived and I don't know if you can hear that distinct sound in the background. Children. <laughs> okay. But I wanted to show you guys an OTD before we get started because I picked this out at one in the morning last night after all the decorations. Yes, I did. So we've got these gold pants. Listen, I screwed myself. I told everyone the color scheme is beige. What was I thinking? I don't have anything beige, do I? Hello. <laughs> There's a child just staring at me right now. Hello. <laughs> oh my child God. literally came up to the door and it's When like, was the last time you saw like a six year old child running around? In my nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> so I got these gold pants on. I have this little flower florally corset. I've got this little undershirt. But that's pretty much what's happening. I'm gonna give you guys a little brief B-roll of all the decorations that we spent so much time on yesterday. And then I told my dad to get $25 gift cards and the man goes to Kroger and right. gets gift cards to Kroger. The man's not listening. So we're not gonna pass out the Kroger gift cards because I don't think it has the hype that Target does. We're actually gonna use these for our own groceries, okay? Wait, so I'm just... Then what we, what my get? dad went back to Target. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we can use these us. for small games. Yeah, like filler games. Okay, yeah. that's good. Yes. Yeah, just give away all the gift cards. Yeah. When we could have used different groceries. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> but before we get started on all of that, before you see the fun festivities of this party, I just want to say, I know. I know I'm going to drop my phone a million times during this party. I know that... A crummy little child, a wonderful child, may or may not pick up my phone and just toss it because I, I envision that's what they're gonna do. And I am not gonna sweat about it, I'm not gonna worry about it because my phone has a case of iPhone case. Let me tell you about them. If you guys are unfamiliar with case device, then you need to get on it because I've been using their phone cases for years now and it is by far the most protective. I feel so comfortable in it whether I'm going out to hang out with friends, whether I go bowling, whether I go to the grocery store, or I'm just at home and I happen to drop it down the stairs, I don't have to worry about, oh my god, is my phone screen gonna crack? Is my phone gonna be chipped? Because their phone cases are so protective. Their ultra impact case is innovative. They're engineered with two layers of Chi Tech. They're drop test approved for 9.8 feet. That's like double my height. No, it's not, but it could be, okay? Now you're thinking, well, Stephanie, it's probably gonna look like a giant brick, okay? It's probably gonna look like a cloud on top of your phone because of how productive it is. No, I mean, it's so slim. It's it's so sleek and on top of that they have so many different colorways you can personalize it you can do photo collages you can buy one of their collabs that they constantly do with brands like KFC NASA BTS and on top of that, the case is antimicrobial, which means that the coating keeps your case germ-free, killing up to 99% of the bacteria that lands on it. And look at these designs that I got. I'm gonna link all of my favorite ones below. I feel like I can always show my personality through it. You can definitely customize it. Pretty much everyone in my house has a case to my phone case, my mom included, and she feels so cool with hers on. And their impact and ultra impact cases are made out of 50% recycled materials. So you can feel really good about the protection that you're getting on your phone. Right now, if you guys click the link in my description or go to casetify.com slash mango you can actually get 15% off your new favorite phone case <laughs> thank you casetify for sponsoring today's hectic video and let's get into it Helium 
Ma'am, your reaction is underwhelming. Okay, I'm we sorry. had like 20 people <laughs> here. Let me show you what we're doing with the Polaroids. We got this Polaroid camera. So we're I just taking took one. Polaroids. This is what you're taking. Uh -huh. So you get to fill this oh, up with cute. your favorite ones. And okay. then you can put it on your desk. But uh -huh. they're gonna be hung here. Oh. We have a Polaroid wall. Is this so cute with the bears? Yeah. So we can just take them throughout the day and then you can take them home. Aww. Listen, I don't mean to expose nobody right now, okay? Because that's not what this party is about. But um, a kid just like walked up to the office door and just fucking pushed it open and the dogs ran out. And I was like, do you think I just put them in there for fun? As an accident? No, it's because as people are coming in and out, I don't want the dogs to run out of the house. And then once everyone's here, I'm gonna let them out, you know? Okay, let me explain what's going on. So we've got these ticket rolls. We've got these two little boxes that say it's a boy, it's a girl, and we're gonna hand everyone a ticket. They keep one side, the number, after they keep this coupon. They put this into either the boy bowl or the girl bowl. And then at the end of it, whatever wins, we dig into that boy bowl or that girl bowl and we pick out one ticket and they win a brand schmackin brand new $25 gift card to Target. <laughs> That's the plan. I'm gonna pass these out. Let's see how it goes. Okay. I'm thinking I'm gonna put the cake pops in the fridge. So which this, one? This is the special yeah. one? Let me see. Honey? <laughs> you saw it. I didn't see it. You saw it. No, I literally you didn't did. see it. I, I swear, swear to God, God you saw it. it. Like Wait, this. the bottom? Does it have it? Shut up. Oh my God, I don't like this. I feel like it's too easy for you guys to get that information now. <laughs> I'm bringing this box to our our secret closet that nobody can get into because I can see the color and I don't like it. We're casting votes now. Wait, the winner wins twenty five thousand dollars. Okay. I think it's a boy. A boy, Cindy. I think it's a boy too. A boy. A boy. A boy. We got a boy. Another boy. Another, Another boy. boy. There's only three for girl. Oh, but did you put yours in? I put girl. You put girl. You put girl. Okay, okay, Kylie, what do you got? Oh, right, let's go. oh, <laughs> you guys look like teddy bears. Yeah, this is so cute. I like the color scheme. Should we let Sophie cast the vault? Should Sophie cast the, cast the vault? Yes! So I'm gonna give her one. If she so chooses, let her... this is boy, this is girl. Okay, okay. Sophie, Sophie, boy or girl? Do you want a brother or nope. a sister? Oh. She said neither! She said neither! What do you think? What does that mean? She wants to be an only child. Oh. It's too late for her. Boy or girl? <laughs> So Stephanie took a million of these photos. Oh my god, look at her. Look at her. Can you put these on there then? Yeah. Go ahead, hang them on the wait, wait, wait. on the Polaroid thing. Make it look cute, okay? Make it look nice. <laughs> He's teaching them how to play chess. Are you guys seeing this right now? He's probably the worst out of all of us at chess, but he do be teaching them. <laughs> the pot is really uneven right now. Yeah, everyone's like really, really uneven. What is happening? So it's time, we're doing the gender reveal right now. It's time, it's time. So, we're doing the reveal, and what's the rules? Uh, I need everyone to shut up, that's the rules. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, Alright, everyone. I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, I think you got everyone. <laughs> okay, so everyone, everyone's gonna get a cake pop. That's a lot, Sophie. Okay, we're busy. Okay, everyone's gonna get a cake pop, 
and you bite into it. And it should be either chocolate or vanilla inside. And then there's only one cake pop that's either pink or blue. Okay. All right, Dan Dan. Hold on. Okay, Dan Dan, it's not you. <laughs> 75 years later. All right, mommy bear, we ran through 50 of them already. Oh, nothing, no. nothing. Oh this is it. Nothing. nothing. Are you guys getting nervous? Okay, yeah, my heart's How do you feel? Nothing? Nothing? Okay. No, it's clear. Very intense. <laughs> that was intense? <laughs> Sophie, you're gonna get a sister. Sis, 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 sis. We are okay. picking the winner to the grand prize. $25. $25. <laughs> okay. 772. 772. <laughs> One more ticket. One what? more winner. 788. Yeah. Yeah. We've been playing the game where it's all water and one shot is tequila, and now we're doing all tequila. Four votes. Okay. Who thinks? It's Carol. Carol. It was you? Yeah. It was me. It was me. It was me. Later that same evening. So here's what's going on. He's knocked out. He's been knocked out. He's been knocked out all day. Knocked out. His eyes are rolling around. <laughs> We're gonna grab all of these balloons and tape it to him. And then what? He's gonna fly away? <laughs> kind of stressing out because this is really uh, kind of mean. I bet he's not gonna wake up. You think so? Don't do it too close to I'm not. I'm doing okay, it here. Okay, okay. I bet he's not gonna wake okay. up. Okay. Anybody wanna bet? Definitely not. Okay. Definitely not. I think he will. Okay, do it. <gasps> he didn't even flinch. <laughs> How? It's like a Just, uh, shot. Have you, I expect. Have you guys met anyone who can sleep through something like this? No. Andrew, you will wake up too, right? No. I would have, but I'm not him. <laughs> Oh, wow. Sleeping, so loud. sleeping like a baby. <laughs> We've cleaned, oh, oh, and now everybody's gone except for my family. And Dan Dan. Andrew has got his legs, he's okay, got his friends. We need to flip him. Oi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh. Good morning. Oh. Lay down right here. I have a blanket <laughs> did, for you. Where did everyone Just go? Just lay here. Where did everyone go? Just let him lay. Thanks, let him guys. Thanks, guys, he mm -hmm. said. When you're ready to drink like a man, we can talk. <laughs> what was today then? You drink like a like a boy. <laughs> Wait, what time is it? Bro. Oh my god. Bro, dude. it's 10 11. Oh my god, dude. I gotta go home, bro. Dude, what the frick? Dude, are you good? I think you need to sleep. Yeah, he needs to sleep. Yeah, you should. 31. Bro, you have been. So everyone just left, and I just wanna say a couple of things. Today feels like the world's longest day. I feel like it was 24 hours and then some. And then I keep checking the time. It's only been nine hours. Nine hours is a lot, by the way. Who parties nine for nine hours? hours? With nine kids is a lot. 81 hours. 81 nine hours. Times nine. So I'm just gonna kind of run you guys through what's what happened today because uh, I didn't want to vlog all of the kids and stuff. And I just wanted to spend time with the family and the friends. There were like nine kids. Now it was raining today, so the whole schedule was set up that hey. Maybe you can go swimming, weather permitting. But it was raining, so I'm thinking, okay, great. Well, we don't have to get any pool things ready. We don't have to get the towels. We don't have to get the sunscreen because it's raining. And I look out the window of the living room, and there are children, full-ass children in the pool. How did you get in the pool? I mean, obviously, their parents were all around. There was like 25 adults per, I don't know, 10 kids just watching them swim, making sure that they don't drown. So they're swimming, and I'm thinking, okay, it's fine. We're going to have a little setup. And I'm whispering because Dan Dan is knocked out on the couch. I, <laughs> everybody left, and he woke up, and he was on his phone. So I was like, oh, he's probably going to go home. And he goes, yeah, well, good night. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, sounds good. Everyone's in the pool. I'm like, okay, let's go get the towels. We're prepping. But I see this trail, this trail of wet 
footprints leading all the way from the back door in to the freaking bathroom. So I'm like, what the heck? And I thought it was him because he was barefoot. He didn't have his slippers on. I'm like, you're trailing water all throughout the house. And he's like, look at the footprints. Look at how small the footprints are. I, I mean, it was like this small. <laughs> I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, he's right. They're really small footprints. And then we all gathered around. The adults came forward and we're like, well, who did it? And they're thinking, well, it's fine. We'll just clean it up with water. Me, being the true crime person, I'm like, mm -mm, you're getting rid of evidence. Grab a piece of paper. We're going to get that water footprint. We're going to go up to the kids. And if the foot matches, and right as I'm saying that, a kid with just a drenching wet hair, drenching wet swimsuit, just runs past me in the house. <laughs> right in front of my face! And I stopped it too, and I look right in front of my face. And he just <laughs> goes back into the backyard. I was so shook. There were so many kids. They were pretty comical. I will say that if I wasn't so tired, in hindsight, everything that they did was pretty comical. Tell me why. I found a bag of gummy bears under our couch, open and everything. Under what? our couch? Under our couch. Open, with gummy bears still inside. And then every mom is like, that's nothing, you should see under my couch. And then every non-mom is like, gummy bears? Under the couch? <laughs> yeah, I think today was the most amount of times he has ever looked at me and said, yeah, no kids. Oh, and then you know how Tiffany did all the decorations yesterday? So she's looking at me and she's telling me, you know, I saw that a bunch of balloons fell off the arch and I'm like, oh my God, I start freaking out, I start trying to tape them back on. And then I tape it back on, everything's good, and I'm admiring my work when all of a sudden, I see two little rascals, two kids, running around the arch and fucking kicking the balloons. <laughs> they would run to the balloons, give it a good kick for no reason. There was no game, there was no let's try to pop a balloon, and then they would run a circle and then kick it again. <laughs> And she was like, I'm not going to tape any more balloons back to the arch because after I saw that, I just don't know why they're kicking it. I'm like, I don't know the reason why they would be kicking it either. I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't know. Then they started just taking balloons off of the arch and using it like a volleyball until one of them popped and a kid just had a full on meltdown. And it was so cute because he's crying. Okay. He's crying his eyes out and we're all going over to him like, are you okay? And his mom gives him a juice pouch and he's like, It's pretty cute. Yeah, the kids are cute. They're all cute. What kind of battery did they run on? I don't know. My sister and Andrew, but they had a blast. Andrew, but got very, very drunk because, you know, dads deserve some fun. My sister couldn't get drunk, so he got drunk for the both of them. <laughs> he went on a 30 minute speech on how much he loved the party. So much so that we were like, okay, you can stop now. It was really not that impressive. Like the first time we were like, oh, like you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, we get it. You love the party. We get it, okay? <laughs> I was shook. I did not think that it was going to be a girl. I thought it was going to be a son. I thought it was going to be a son. I put my freaking ticket into the sun. How did you feel having this secret the whole time? I feel... I feel nothing. <laughs> what? You didn't feel like there's such a big secret that you're holding on to? No. And then uh, there was a kid having a full-on meltdown and he's being held by his mom. And that is the one time you try to have a conversation with this woman. I'm like, she's busy, sir. You're trying to give her a ticket. You're explaining all the rules. You're like going in depth. You're like, yeah, so you keep this one coupon, right? Because you need to know your number. The number's right there. And then you put this one coupon, so you're supposed to take And her child is right here having a full-on meltdown. And I'm like, babe. Not right now. You could do this in two seconds. Let her handle her kid. Like, let her do what she needs to do. Well, what if the kid just keep on crying? <laughs> no, it's fine. And then she's what? like, okay, okay. <laughs> she's like, I get it, I get it. Give me the f***ing ticket. <laughs> oh, and side note, my sister has very lackluster reactions. That's just been her personality. Like, you could literally hand her a million dollars cash. And she'd say, whoa, thanks. <laughs> You're so nice. <laughs> Maybe I have a reaction for the both of us because you can hand me one dollar and I would be over the moon and she is she's over the moon but she like won't show it I don't think I've ever seen her cry out of like pure joy I don't think most people cry out of joy I feel like I cry out of joy a lot Really? Yeah. You have that many joyful... No. <laughs> Here's a candy. Just start crying. <laughs> <laughs> Another M&M! <laughs> and then your sister? Okay, so 
we told Tiffany to come late because we she was so tired yesterday too, and she came dressed all in blue. <laughs> and it was after they, they did it on purpose. Yes, they thought it was gonna be a boy, so oh, they came dressed. God. Just like head to toe, not really, but like they were wearing blue and it was very obvious, you know, it wasn't like a light blue, it was like a baby blue. Day. Yeah, you couldn't have texted her because she came after the reveal. Yeah. <laughs> it was a girl. <laughs> you couldn't have texted her, boo boo. <laughs> Nothing, just. Nothing. I think that's gonna be it for today's video. After this, no more baby videos, okay? I'm done. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yeah, I mean, for a while, okay? I'm like, tell my babies for a while. Uh, your sister goes. So, there's a third one. <laughs> it's actually twins. <laughs> no, she would have known by now. She would have, but can you imagine? And then today I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm so done. We're never inviting people over until at least Thanksgiving, okay? I'm done for the next month and a half. My social meter. Today I didn't realize how bad my social meter was, but it was down low. I feel like this was my energy bank, and every time people came over, it just kept, kept getting depleted, and today was like at the bottom of the barrel. So I tell him, no more. And he's like, well, Moon Festival is in two days. So his whole family's coming over in two days. And we're actually planning some big things for them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we move back to California? I'm on Zillow. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to be it for today's video. Make sure to check out Case to Find linked in the description because you won't even know how many times I dropped my phone today. It was probably more times than these kids dropped gummy bears onto our floors. Who came up with gummy bears? I did. Horrible idea. Don't give children gummy bears. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh